a particle moves in a straight line so that t seconds after passing a fixed point O. Its velocity, v meter per second, is given by v equals to 2t squared minus away 16t plus 30. In part 1, find an expression for the displacement. In part 2, sketch the velocity time graph and find the range of times when it is traveling towards O. And in part 3, calculate the distance traveled in the first 7 seconds. Pause to give it a try and when you're ready, keep watching. To find displacement from velocity, you will have to integrate the velocity equation. For this question, we will integrate 2t squared minus away 16t plus 30. Let's take a look at the integration of power functions where we integrate x to the power of n with respect to x will give the result of x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, power plus 1 over power plus 1. Integrating 2t squared will give 2 third t cubed. And integrating negative 16t will give us negative 8t squared, which is also power plus 1 divided by power plus 1. Integrating the constant of 30 shall give us 30t. And we add a c, where c is the arbitrary constant for indefinite integrals. From the question, t seconds after passing fixed point O implies that when t equal to 0, displacement s will be equal to 0. Replacing both t and s to be 0, we are able to solve for c, which is also 0. And here, we have the displacement equation. We will begin with the vertical axis of v meters per second and horizontal axis of t seconds. As the coefficient of t squared is greater than 0, the shape of the quadratic curve is a happy face also known as minimum curve. By replacing t to be 0 into the velocity equation, our vertical intercept is found to be 30. Similarly, by replacing v to be 0 and solving for t, t will be equal to 3 and 5, and that will be our horizontal intercept. By finding the midpoint between the horizontal intercepts, we will get a line of symmetry to be t equal to 4. Replacing t to be 4 into the v equation, we have our minimum point to be 4, comma, negative 2, and we have completed our sketch. Because the particle starts off t seconds after passing a fixed point O, at this point, the particle must be moving away from O. At t equal to 3, velocity is a zero, implying that there is a change of direction, also known as instantaneous rest. So, the particle must be moving towards O. The range will begin when t is greater than 3. Similarly, at t equal to 5, Velocity is also a zero, implying that there is a change of direction but the particle is now moving away from O. So, the range will end when t is less than 5. Therefore, between t equal to 3 and t equal to 5, the particle is moving towards O. To find total distance, we need a displacement diagram to illustrate the motion of the particle. We knew that from part 1, when t equal to 0, displacement equal to 0. From part 2, we found that particle changes its direction at t equal to 3. Replacing t equal to 3 into the displacement equation, displacement is 36. This part of the journey is 36 meters. Likewise, from part 2, we found that the particle is at instantaneous rest when t equal to 5. Replacing t to be 5, our displacement is 33 and 1 third. The displacement for this part of the journey will be taking the bigger displacement minus away the smaller displacement. Let's find out where the particle will be when t equal to 7. The displacement is found to be 46 and 2 thirds 
after the substitution into the S equation. Likewise, by taking the bigger displacement and subtracting away the smaller displacement, we will get the distance for the last part of the journey. And the distance is found to be 52 meters. Did you manage to get it right? Once again, thank you for watching and I hope you have learned something. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on Singapore math questions. And see you in the next episode of Practical Math.